Hey, a pleasant good day, everyone. This is Sports for Night News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be a quick video on now our former Phantom and Flyers player, Nicholas Aubey Kubel, the good four checker from a couple years ago that was one of the league's best four checkers in 19 and 20. That really played good along the boards, uh, showed his underrated shot to go to seven goals, eight assists to tally 15 points in 36 games that year, and then looked good in his cup of coffee in nine games a year prior, didn't tally a point, and was obviously a very productive player during his time and a fun player to watch during his time with the Lehigh Valley Phantoms. And as the great Tony Andrakis of Inside the AHL talked about, he would have been a welcomed addition if he played a more disciplined game, getting back into the groove he was in in 1920 to the Phantoms because they needed a player that fit into all the categories that I just said Knack was the best at, forechecking along the boards and also just being, especially at the AHL level, a sneaky offensive player with that sneaky shot of his that is an underrated asset of his game. We just haven't seen it as much in the last two years because he hasn't been playing as confident of a game overall and has been playing a very undisciplined game. But anyway, please subscribe to the channel up above or down below if you enjoy the content, as well as Flyers Nitty Gritty and Flyers Fan Mania. They do some great stuff there, as well as Steel Flyers. But this is just a quick video on Albe Kubel, who unfortunately last year in 50 games had three goals, nine assists, 12 points. Um, It wasn't as... It wasn't as stats-wise <clears throat> noticeable last year, but he still definitely had a very down year compared to the cup of coffee he had where we saw, oh, this guy's a little energy ball on the ice. He's kind of, some people like, even myself, I think I've said it before, because of the agitator knack was and the underrated shot he had, people talked about him being the bottom six TK. You had TK who was a great, who was a great offensive player at his best, obviously, and is a pest and a great four-checker, all those other things I said about Nat, in the top six because he's an all-star caliber player. Albe Kubel obviously isn't that, but he's the same agitator when he's playing a common game, very good in the four-check, and has an underrated shot, so that's a very good bottom six player. The problem is, you can't be a consistent in the lineup bottom six player when you're taking undisciplined penalties. You have to and be able to play a more disciplined game. Now, obviously, Colorado kind of mixes in anybody in their lineup that they think helps them from the facet of what they kind of need, where they wanted to add <clears throat> more forechecking and um, peskiness to their lineup. Like, they already have Nazim Kadri, who takes some pretty dumb penalties as well. But the difference there is Kadri obviously can play the center position and is a face-off guy as well and does a little bit more for you to get over the fact that he's playing an undisciplined game. Where all Bay Kubel as a winger in these last couple of years, if you're playing a very undisciplined game and it starts affecting the rest of your game, which it looks like it had for Knack recently, and I still really like this guy as a player. Let me get that out there. Also, I still wish all Bay Kubel all the best. I tweeted that after he got claimed. I hope he does well in Colorado and fits in swimmingly to their lineup and plays a good game up there and gets back to his roots of just being a pest, being a good four-checker, and being a guy that takes penalties but takes the penalties because of what good coaches say. Sometimes you just got to punch somebody in the mouth, and sometimes you get a charging penalty just because of the aggressiveness of the game. Those are just in the stride of the game penalties. Knack in the last couple years has just been taking those penalties you can't have that affect the team negatively or a emotional kind of let down if you had the momentum going your way it kind of shoots back when you take a bad penalty to the other team or balances out those are penalties you can't have so going up to Colorado I wish him success going into that team going into that scheme as they try to implement him into their lineup it'll be interesting to see if they do that via their third line or via actually slotting him into their fourth line consistently there or if they kind of rotate him since Nat can be a Swiss Army knife when he's at his best but they claimed him they obviously plan to use him and he's a guy that is a very helpful bottom six player a guy that in 1920 was one of the best bottom six players because he was the best four checker or one of them I can't remember which one it was one of them one of the best four checkers or the graded best in the league and he's a guy that really, when he's at his best, too, uses his stick well in terms of blocking lanes and everything. He just hasn't looked like the same player in terms of confidence and spunk, because that's the way he really plays. He plays a very spunky game where he 
gets in your face and he really is an aggressive player, but that aggressiveness has led to being undisciplined in the last couple of years. So he has to reel it back in and hopefully he does that in Colorado, which Nicholas Albe Kubel, all the success with the Colorado Avalanches. He has got claimed by the Avalanches. This has been Sports Fanatic News. I'm Jaborik, a reaction to Nicholas Albe Kubel getting claimed by the Colorado Avalanche. Good luck in Colorado, Nick.